guys, what is going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next. I'm Mike, your host, and I hope you guys are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 69,000 subscribers. We're getting very close, guys. We're getting very close. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media. Links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and even Snapchat. So go follow me on all of those. And once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video. And today... We are talking about a scary dream that somebody once had. And I read the story, I like this story, and I wanted to read you guys this story. So we're gonna do just that. We're gonna also do it creepypasta style. Yeah, you guys like that, huh? So I hope you guys enjoy the story. Talking about dreams is actually a series that I'm thinking about doing um, because I know myself, I've had a lot of weird dreams and I know there is different meanings to different dreams out there. Like it's, it's crazy, so. It's it's insane and I, I used to love like I used to love learning about dreams and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have had some messed up dreams like a lot of you guys have told me your dreams and some of them are really creepy. Um, some people believe that they're actually like signs that something's going to happen. Some people believe there's a meaning behind each dream like if you dream of water that's supposed to mean something if you dream of like being shot that's supposed to mean something. Um, if you like dream of like things like um. I dream, I like often dream about train tracks and that's really weird to me, but I think even dreaming about train tracks is supposed to be like a meaning for something, like something on your mind. It's like a psychological thing. But anyway, guys, I thought it would be really interesting to do like a series on dreams and different types of dreams. I'll still make it creepy. It's still going to be a scary series. It's not going to be like, um, just dreams in general. It's going to be like a creepy story, uh, series. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, guys, enough of the jibba jabber. Today we are talking about another scary story. And this scary story is called Dead People in the Fog. Dead People in the Fog. I had a dream where I went to an amusement park with my friends. Nobody seemed to notice that Everything was dark, gray, and decaying. The rides were all broken down and falling apart. I wandered off on my own and came to a park that was covered in fog. I walked into the fog and I saw people just walking around, looking sad. Then I saw one of my friends who had died years ago. I was thrilled to see him, but he just looked at me sadly. I told him that we had to go meet my friends back at the amusement park. That's when he said, we can't go to meet them. We're stuck here now for eternity. Even if we go see them, they won't be able to see us. My friends were outside the fog and they were looking for me. I saw the panic in their eyes. I tried to shout at them, but they couldn't hear me or see me. I put my hand in my pocket and I found my phone and I asked my friend what would happen if I texted them. He said he didn't know. No one had ever had a phone before. I typed a message telling my friend what happened. I told them that I was right beside them and asked if they could tell my family that I loved them. I told them to leave and not go into the fog and that I would miss them. They read the message and started screaming and crying and after that they ran away. My friends and I walked back and disappeared into the fog. And that is the end of that very short story, but I thought it was very like dark and like meaningful. There was something there, but I just couldn't put my finger on it. And it feels like something that I would have dreamt about myself. And I think just because of the, the, the image of people walking around looking sad and in this dark gray, it kind of reminds me of that song. All around me are familiar faces, worn out places worn out places like the decaying amusement park and the people looking sad and 
it's gray and foggy and that's kind of what it reminded me of um and it just stood out to me it's not that scary but it's definitely creepy and i think that the meaning for this could be maybe like you're lost like not physically lost but like you're lost is in maybe you're in a confused point in your life you don't know what you want you are you're not sure what you want you just don't know whether you should be going left or right that kind of thing and maybe it's playing on his mind whoever had this dream um but whoever had it like if you ever see this video please talk to me because like you seem like a cool guy um i don't even know if you're a guy like you could be a girl but anyway guys my question to all of you for question of the day is what do you think the meaning of this dream was and like if it was just that he's confused in life why would he dream about a friend that died so many years ago do you think it could also be that that friend is watching over him um helping i don't know it's dreams are just they're like looking into space you can look into space and never understand them uh but it still fascinates us all and i think that's really cool and that's what made me want to do this dream series so let me know what you guys think let me know your answer to the question of the day in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this story and i hope you enjoy the future stories that are yet to come and uh yeah uh, it'll be really cool if you enjoyed this video guys hit that like button down below and let's see if we can go for 20 billion likes on this video i would really appreciate that and remember the most important thing of all guys chase your dreams i love you all